Adolescents who are angry and aggressive rarely engage in antisocial behavior on their own. If you're going to work with these children, these young people, whether they're in gangs or not, if you do not change their peer affiliation, if you cannot find them a guardian angel, if you cannot find them an area of competence that they could connect so that you can increase the likelihood of them finishing high school and the like, no matter how good you are in teaching skills of doing, it is unlikely to be successful. One of the things we know from the research, information processing research, is that people who are prone to become angry, who have this penchant, who have been exposed to models of aggressive behavior throughout their whole lives, that those particular individuals are prone to misperceive or to view ambiguous cues as provocations. They go around wearing lenses of seeing personal threats all over the place. And as a result of that, they are more predisposed. What else do we know about those individuals, whether it's the children or people who are beating up their spouses? Is that they are more prone to come up with aggressive solutions to achieve their goals. They are less likely to have scripts that are developed in terms of pro-social acts. Aggression works.